The Milk River is running low. In fact, this is probably the lowest it has been in, I don't know, maybe a hundred years. Where these cattle are lazing on sandbars and wading in the shallow water, in a normal year, right around now, the Milk River would be full from grassy bank to grassy bank. But not this year. The reason why, though, is a little bit different. This is the St. Mary River. Both it and the Milk River start in Glacier Park in Montana, just a few kilometers apart. Both of them run into Alberta. But the Milk River makes a U-turn and runs back into Montana. So back in the 1920s, a big siphon was built to carry water from the St. Mary River over to the Milk River to pump up its flow. In June of this year, that siphon failed. So this canal that used to carry water is now running dry. Which is not a bad thing for the St. Mary River. Here, just north of the border, the St. Mary continues on running until its waters reach Hudson Bay while just on the other side of this beautiful ridge, the Milk River flows all the way to the Gulf of Mexico. I got over to that side of the ridge a little bit too late to shoot very much, but I did enjoy watching the stars rise above that Milk River country. Absolutely stunning at night. But next morning I could see what was going on, and here on the North Fork of the Milk River, there wasn't a whole lot of water. This should be running full at this time of year. None of these gravel bars should be visible. These big twists in the Milk River, just a little bit north of the Montana border, should almost be running into each other. In fact, in a couple of years they probably will be. Over at the bridge where I'd been taking pictures in the dark, the river was kind of, well, it was very low. In fact, it, it was more rock than water. And the further I went downstream, the less water there was. Here by the town of Milk River, it was mostly gravel bars. I sure hope their taps don't run dry. A little further downstream, I found these goldfinches having a bath. Don't blame them, it was a very hot day. So I took a cue from them and went for a walk in the river myself. Um, never did get past Shin Deep. Down here by Coffin Bridge, it was barely ankle deep. But there were fish, little tiny ones that seemed very interested in the silt I stirred up with my footsteps. The river just got thinner and thinner the further downstream I went. Here at Weir Bridge, yeah, it was mostly gravel bars. But as I was shooting these pictures and thinking about it a little bit, I kind of came to the realization that maybe this is what the Milk River is supposed to look like. Up until this year, it is being kept artificially full by water being siphoned from the St. Mary River. So maybe this landscape where this cottontail is chewing on a flower and this young porcupine is, well, actually, I think it's about to go to sleep. But maybe this is more like what the people that carved the petroglyphs and painted the pictographs at writing on stone. Maybe this is more like the river that they saw. Looking down on its now shallow waters is a little bit like looking back in time. So this is the reality of the Milk River, at least until that big siphon gets fixed and the St. Mary River water flows again. But the thing is, this is probably what it looked like a century ago. And to me, it's kind of a privilege to be able to see it that way. <laughs>